So uh, my husband was pastor of the City Tabernacle Baptist Church, my husband Peter, and uh, we heard about Jim Wallace and the movement that he was wanting to start to actually speak into parliament, speak into politics, and it really spoke to us at the time. We invited Jim to come to the church and preach, and he came uh, and we asked him to actually explain to us what his passion was. And when he opened up the word and he explained how important it was for for Christians to actually speak into the politic of the day, to actually have an impact on what the kingdom is doing in our politics of the day. It was, it was a very passionate um, message and it gripped the hearts of the City Tabernacle, to be honest. We, we became financial supporters at that stage, but we all, the church actually became a financial supporter. And the church remains, like this, we're talking probably 20 years ago, um, but the church remains a monthly supporter to this day. I think for anybody who's wanting to know whether they should support ACL, I would say to them that Wendy Francis is actually a good litmus test of that. Um, I've worked for ACL for more than 13 years now, about 13 years. And we were supporters before I started working for ACL and we have only just um, kept increasing our, our giving because I see it from the inside and I see what a good investment it is. Um, to support ACL is to join a movement that is actually really making a difference. Th there are tangible um, things that have happened even in this past month. We've seen the dial move and this is an investment for the future. It is an investment for our children, but particularly in my case, I'm saying it's an investment for my grandchildren. There are so many ways you can get involved with ACL. So obviously we, we desperately need people to pray for us, um, but we, need, we do need the finances. We need the finances to be able to run the campaigns that we run. They're not cheap uh, because we do them well. So we need that. But we also need feet on the ground, those beautiful feet that bring the tidings of good news and we do need financial support as well. And it is why Peter and I have continued to support and we will continue to support ACL in our monthly giving. I was brought up in a church and so I've heard many missionary uh, messages and often they use the passage where it says, where Isaiah says, here am I, send me. And then when Peter and I uh, were looking to follow God in wherever he wanted to lead us, we really had hearts as young people, we had hearts that we wanted to go wherever he wanted us to go. And we read that passage and what we read there was that God said, I want you to go to your own people. And at the time that really resonated for Peter and I. And so he has been um, a pastor, but he's also a, a theological lecturer. He's the principal of a Bible college. And I felt very called into the work here at ACL. And I see it as a missionary endeavor. And so that verse has been very special to us. And we do feel as if we were called to speak to our own people, but it came from a willing heart. Here am I, Lord, send me.